Hey everybody, Spoonfed here. Um, sadly, we cannot do reconnaissance uh, level two because of some name server issues. We need to uh, get the name server of securityoverride.com, but .com is not hosted anymore. It's .net now, and the .net servers are probably not read in there yet because they have four name servers now. So um, yeah, so we're just gonna skip two. We're gonna go to recon level three, and recon level three uh, as us. What version of PHP is running on the server in the format PHP slash star dot star dot star uh, or asterisk dot asterisk dot asterisk, whatever you want to call it? Example PHP slash 1.11. Well, there are multiple ways we can do this. Um, we can do this uh, with an add on, and I already recorded this once, so I already have it set up. But if you go to add ons on Firefox, get add ons, and say header, then you need to get um, this one live HTTP headers 0 0.17 you will see view HTTP headers of a page while browsing so get that one restart the browser go back to this one uh, run it so here we have it so we have capture on and here we already have a lot of headers and here it says X powered by uh, PHP slash 5.3.6 or if you hold your mouse on this one you'll see it at the far right PHP slash 5.3.6 so those two are ways to get it uh, clear close another way is to use the command bar prompt or in this case we have a terminal so we're gonna use uh, NC stands for netcat we're gonna do security override dot net on port 80 which is the HTTP port then we're going to do get this one HTTP slash 1.1 meaning get the index file uh, uh, with the protocol HTTP dash uh, slash 1.1 that's standard Then we're going to specify a host because we wanted to make it appear that we are from securityoverride.net so we won't get any weird results then we're just gonna hit enter enter you could have a whole bunch more uh, stuff which we'll be doing in the future and here we get a 302 found but that's okay we don't need anything else um, probably because the slash will redirect itself to I don't know a slash welcome or something I who cares uh, here we see uh, the server and here we see PHP slash 5.3.6 and here we see expired by 5.3.6 now true that this does not necessarily have to be correct and the only way to verify this for sure is to um, actually run oh let's do it like so to run um, like this code on the server somewhere to see um, what is that it is correct but you know let's just uh, go for this one and see if it works so we did it uh, we correctly uh, did everything so now we know the version of the PHP software and we know the um, IP address so what we're going to do real quickly is just um, they're not getting notes that's not really what I want um, well for now just get a word out just get a text editor out and we'll say um, recon oh, recon sense security overrides.net IP just need to quickly get that because I don't know for sure what the IP is uh, I'm gonna close ping security override.net copy that one and PHP version was 5.3.6 so we're gonna save this as uh, recon security override and we'll just save it as a doc so everybody can open it alright 
so we'll keep that open and because you know it's a good thing to log all the information you get I should already I could also log of course this whole thing you know normally you would do that so you know what is running which servers running uh, which mods are on the server you know um, stuff like that to see what kind of well basically what kind of exploit you could be running like a PHP session ID sometimes a cookie can be used to do a SQL injection but that's for later not for now so only for later um, so yeah that's it for now so um, yay for us